When it comes to deciding exactly what you want to do with your new truck, the options can seem kind of daunting. I mean, with all the different lift kits and millions of wheel and tire packages, choosing the style that you want for your truck can seem nearly impossible. I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets, and today we're gonna break down some of the most popular truck build themes that we see. So if you're one of those faithful subscribers, don't click off just yet because this isn't the same video that we just made a while back about the four types of truck builds. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. But for this one, we're covering all the trendy options to make your vehicle best in show. To kick things off, we're gonna start with what I call the pop of color style. Literally, you can take just about any truck out there, paint to match just about everything on it, throw on some dark tint, pick up some chrome or polished wheels, choose any lift you want and add just one bright accent color. So I've seen this done on everything from Rangers to Super Duties and it always looks good, but there's one super important part. To pull it off, you wanna go with the widest wheels you can, even if it means sacrificing a little bit of turning radius or having to trim your truck. When you keep it low and wide, it really sets off the look and that just takes it to the next uh, level, the show truck look that you're going for. One of my favorite builds in the gallery is actually this silver 2015 F250 that's got some of the suspension finish in this crazy bright green chrome. And I think the reason I enjoy it so much is because it just really stands out. Not only if you're scrolling through the gallery, but in person too, it just catches your eye. And typically a silver truck isn't going to do that. It's just not an exciting color. Now he went with fuel forge wheels and a lot of guys do the forge route. American Force, Specialty Forge or any of those guys. But if you don't want to spend all the money on wheels, you can still pull this look off with cast wheels too. Like the TIS 544 and Chrome is a great example or just about any hostile wheel would achieve the same thing. Even some of the smaller brands like Tough uh, with the T2A, that wheel looks really similar to some of the Forge ones but doesn't cost nearly as much. Another one I really like is this 15 F-150 Platinum that followed the same recipe. White out everything, just nice wide polished wheels and then just a little bit of red on the lift, some bumper accent pieces and then the tailgate and it, it works on older trucks too. I was checking out some photos of an 05 GMC 1500 that's got the bumpers and grill and everything painted to match, big wide RBP forge wheels and then just a little bit of teal to give it some color and you're good to go. Next, of course, we had to mention the murdered outlook. This has been around forever and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. As much as people talk shit about, oh look, another blacked out Silverado, it really is a simple style that takes the guesswork out of planning what to do with new parts. I mean, even a lot of the OE manufacturers now are offering blackout packages right from the factory. So Chevy has the Midnight Edition trucks that come with black wheels and black bumpers and black grills and you can get blacked out emblems. Uh, and it's, it's good to go right off the bat. 99% of lift kits come blacked from the factory too, so you don't have to worry about painting that. And I can't say I've ever seen a tire that wasn't black, so that makes that part easy. And then when it comes to wheels, it's actually a bit harder than you might imagine to find an all black wheel, since so many companies are adding a rivets or milling, but we actually made a video on all the top five all black wheels. So if you're gonna go for a true blackout theme, you gotta go all black. That way when you hashtag all black air thing on Instagram, you won't have the one guy that's like, yeah, except for the milling on the wheels and the lug nuts and your hitch pin, because those people exist and they will find you. Boy, I'm really liking the color scheme of this wall. On the opposite end, you've got the whiteout, which I know I don't need to explain, but just like we did with CO2, you can either wrap or paint everything on the truck white. Now, keep in mind, if you love this look, you're gonna wanna be prepared to put some hours into detailing. White trucks seem to get dirty really fast, and if you take it as far as we did, you'll see that the lift, the brake calipers, and everything else underneath the truck can quickly collect noticeable grime. But if you wanna talk about a clean build, I think whiteout is probably the definition of it. You gotta slap some dark tint on it for that contrast, and then again, it's all about big, shiny wheels, polished or chrome, and in the biggest size you can fit. We went with 26 by 14 Archon Lincolns on CO2, which is our 2015 2500 HD, and all the chrome and all the white out in the sun, it, it just reflects like crazy. It's basically the truck equivalent to that big diamond on someone's finger four tables over that your girlfriend goes crazy over. Lastly, we've got the guys that aren't afraid to go bold. When it comes to running colored wheels, 2019 has been the year that we've seen more of this than ever before. In comparison to the price of wheels themselves, you can usually find a local powder coater to do your wheels for cheap and almost guarantee that literally no one else anywhere in the world has the same finish. If you don't wanna go through the hassle or wait for powder coating to be done, there are becoming more and more companies out there that are actually offering these like custom looking colors straight from factory. You can get the colored wheels 
right from their stock. Archon has the red Crown Series that's been popular, XD has the new red XD844 Pike, Axe has some red compression forged wheels, and there's even some blue options out there from Fuel and American Off-Road. The stock options aren't nearly as vast as when you choose to do powder coating, but they're still out there. If you want orange or purple or lime green, uh, some, that's something your local powder coater can definitely get done for you. I think some of this has kind of come from the car scene as those guys with their slanty wheels <coughs> fitment industries. Those are other builds we've got for you guys. Let us know down below if we missed any or what builds you guys are running. As always, if you need any wheels, tires, or suspension for these builds or your own crazy build idea, you can hit up customoffsets.com. We're stoked to keep supplying these parts to you guys as long as the builds keep coming. So we love to see them. Peace.